Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the genetic origins of the modern day Iranians in light of their Andrano ancestry. In other words, the primary objective of this analysis is to prove that the modern day Iranians do indeed harbor significant amounts of Andrano ancestry and as many of you may know, the Andrano culture was ancestral to the ancient Aryans of Central Asia and was known as the Proto-Indo-Iranian culture. For this reason, you'll be able to see that modern Iranians do indeed have significant amounts of Andrano ancestry, primarily pure Andrano ancestry. So the sample that I'll be using for Andrano heritage in this analysis is nearly the purest of the Andrano samples available and it's from Kazakhstan. Another point that I must emphasize here is that the Andrano culture was closest genetically to modern day Northern Europeans with an overlap of around 70 to 75 percent. A final thing to note here is that the peoples of the Andrano culture later hybridized with the indigenous BMAC farmers to form the ancient Iranics, which is very interesting, though nonetheless this analysis will not focus on that aspect of ancestry in modern day Iranians and will instead focus on pure Andrano and heritage that modern day Iranians harbor. Though nonetheless, if you are interested in learning more about the hybridized nature of the ancient Iranics of Central Asia, please watch my video on the matter titled the Indo-Iranians and BMAC and I've attached it to the top right here. That analysis was done using QPADM and is fairly accurate overall. And the nature of hybridization is also present in many recent studies. So if you're interested, please email me at irontalk95 at gmail.com and I can send them to you. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin this analysis. Now to get into the analysis, up first we have a map and you can see this is the map of the range of the Andrano culture. So you can see it encompasses nearly all of Central Asia and you can also see that the BMAC or Oxus civilization as well as the Yaz culture are also depicted. As many of you may know, the Aryans arose out of the Andrano culture later mixing with the indigenous BMAC farmers to form the Yaz culture. Nonetheless, early on, the Andrano culture was very much Iranic in character and was very closely related to the Indo-Europeans of Europe, which is quite interesting and remarkable. In fact, as previously mentioned and as you'll be able to see next, these Andrano peoples were very genetically akin to the Europeans, which is quite interesting, especially modern day Northern Europeans. Now here we have the breakdowns for the Kazakhstan Andrano population. So you can see there on average 64.6% Indo-European steppe, 22.4% Neolithic Anatolian, 9.4% Western hunter-gatherer and 3.6% West Siberian hunter-gatherer. Please keep in mind that this sample was from amongst the most purest Andrano samples in Central Asia, particularly in Kazakhstan. As you can see, European ancestry is heavy here and accounts for around 96.4% of the genome of these ancient Aryans, which is very interesting. Again, you can see that they have heavy amounts of Indo-European stuff ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. Thus, the ancient Aryans or Proto-Aryans were very much a European population genetically particularly a northern European population. Now here is another map and this one as well as the previous one was done by my friend son of Manu. So you can see that this map highlights the areas in which the ancient Persians and ancient Medians settled. You can see that the ancient Persians were in southern Iran and the ancient Medians were in northern and northwestern Iran. Both of these cultures played an integral role in the ethnogenesis of modern day Iranians and also you'll be able to see that southern Iranians as well as northern Iranians are very similar genetically meaning that they're the true descendants of the ancient Persians and the ancient Medians with very little foreign ancestry. Overall, this map highlights the nature in which the ethnogenesis of the modern day Iranians took fold, particularly those of southern Iran as well as northern and northwestern Iran. Now that's essentially it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video, I'll be taking a look at the genetic origins of modern day Iranians in light of their ancestry deriving from an ancient uh, Andronoan source as well as their indigenous Iran Chalcolithic ancestry. In fact, what you'll be able to see is that modern day Iranians have minimal ancestry deriving from a foreign source and are largely a three-way admixture between Iran Chalcolithic farmers, the Andronoans, as well as the populations of the Kuraraxis culture. Thus, without further ado, I'd like to begin the analysis. 
Now here are the source population and you can see that there is an Andronovo component represented best by the Kazakhstan Aktogai sample from the Bronze Age. There is an Iran calcolithic component made up of the Sagabi and Haji Fruz calcolithic samples. There is a Kuraraxis component made up of various Caucasian samples from the early Bronze Age. There is an Iron Age Hellenic component, a late antique Arab component, a medieval Mongol component, a Bronze Age South Asian component, a modern Caucasian component and a Sub-Saharan African component. What's especially interesting to note is that these different components date to the various areas of invasion and you can see that all of these samples are ancient with the exception of the modern Caucasian component and a sub-Saharan African component those are more modern. Nonetheless you can see with the ancient samples they're very much active proxies to assess foreign ancestry in modern day Iranians as well as indigenous Iranian farmer ancestry and Aryan ancestry. For this reason what you'll be able to see here is that on a genetic level the modern day Iranians harbor significant amounts of Andronovo ancestry alongside Iran calcolithic ancestry and only minimal amounts of foreign ancestry though nonetheless one thing I must note here is that the Kuraraxis component can be considered an indigenous component since it's very close to the Iranian heartland and is very much descended from the indigenous Caucasian and Iranian populations. Moving on, here are the breakdowns for the modern day Iranians and you can see they're on average 18.1% Andronovo derived, 62.7% Iran calcolithic, 7.6% Kuraraxis, 1.6% Iron Age Hellenic, 3.7% Late Antique Arab, 2.3% Mongolia Medieval, 3.8% Bronze Age South Asian and 0.1% Sub-Saharan African. Now what's interesting to note is that these results prove that modern Iranians are indeed not Arabs or mostly of Arab descent as you can see they have minimal Arab ancestry and mind you here I'm using the late antique Arab sample we have from Tal Karasa in Syria. This sample actually does well to reflect the genetic origins of the Arab invaders. What's crucial to note here is that modern Iranians are mostly of two-way descent from Andrano Bronze Age and Iran calcolithic populations with minimal foreign ancestry which is very interesting and what's also interesting is that the largest source of foreign ancestry in modern Iranians actually comes from a South Asian source which is very interesting and even then it's only 3.8% so what this means is that genetically modern Iranians are largely contiguous. Again, you can see that the Andrino ancestry here ranges from around 12.6% to as high as 23.2%. So what this means is that modern day Iranians do indeed have significant amounts of Andrino ancestry, which is quite interesting. Thus, what's evident from these results is that modern Iranians do indeed have significant Proto-Aryan and Iran calcolithic ancestry with only minor amounts of foreign ancestry, which again is quite interesting and remarkable. Now here are the Horasanis who are an Iranian population situated in eastern Iran and you can see they are on average 23.0% Andrano Bronze Age, 61.5% Iran Calcolithic, 2.9% Mongolia Medieval, 12.1% Bronze Age South Asian and 0.5% Sub-Saharan African. Thus what's evident from these results is that on a genetic level the eastern Iranians from Khorasan have significant Andrano ancestry alongside significant Iran calcolithic ancestry with only minor amounts of foreign ancestry which is quite interesting and remarkable. Thus the Khorasanis of today are largely genetically an Iranian population. And these Eastern Iranians actually have minimal foreign ancestry as you can see some of the foreign ancestral sources do not appear here which is very interesting and it's also worth noting that genetically these samples are very much akin to the other modern day Iranians though with less ancestry derived from non-Iranian sources and also it's worth mentioning that overall these samples tend to have more South Asian ancestry compared to other Iranians though nonetheless it's still very minimal. Thus the Khorasanis are also largely genetically Iranian. Now here we have the breakdowns for the modern day Iranians in Azad Mard's collection including a sample set that I've added myself. So you can see they're on average 16.2% Andrano Bronze Age, 57.8% Iran Calcolithic, 10.9% Kuraraxis Caucasian, 1.2% Ancient Hellenic, 4.2% Late Antique Arab, 3.0% Medieval Mongol, 4.0% Bronze Age South Asian, 2.6% Modern Caucasian and 0.3% Sub-Saharan African. Overall what you can see with these Iranians is that they also are mostly of two-way descent between Iran calcolithic farmers and the Andrano Bronze Age sample set which is very interesting though they do have a bit of Kuraraxis ancestry as well which I consider native and their foreign ancestry again is at a minimal. 
What's also evident from these results is that the Arab ancestry is very low, as is the medieval Mongol ancestry, though it is elevated compared to the other samples analyzed here. Nonetheless, you can also see minimal Bronze Age South Asian ancestry, which is very close to the amount found in modern day Iranians that have been analyzed previously, though it is worth mentioning that the modern Caucasian ancestry here is a bit elevated compared to the other samples. Nonetheless, these uh, population sets are largely genetically Iranian as well. Now up next we have the Iranian Kurds and you can see there on average 16.3% Andrano, 53.4% Iran Calcolithic, 17.0% Kuraraxis Caucasian, 3.9% Iron Age Hellenic, 4.9% Late Antique Arab, 1.6% Medieval Mongol and 2.8% Bronze Age South Asian. What's evident from these results is that on a genetic level the Kurds have to have less Bronze Age South Asian as well as medieval Mongol ancestry and around the same Arab ancestry as other Iranians with a bit more Iron Age Hellenic ancestry and significant amounts of Kuraraxi ancestry which is much higher than the general Iranian population though nonetheless again you can see they are mostly a two-way admixture between Andrano and Iran Calcolithic populations. Thus what these results prove is that the Kurds are also largely genetically contagious which is quite interesting and remarkable. The last of the Iranian populations assessed here are the uh, Azerbaijanis and you can see there on average 13.7% Andrano, 45.5% Iran Calcolithic, 19.6% Kuraraxi, 7.1% Iron Age Hellenic, 3.9% Late Antique Arab, 7.2% Medieval Mongol, 2.2% South Asian, 0.8% Caucasian from the modern period and 0.0% Sub-Saharan African. Glaringly, you can see that the modern day Azerbaijanis are again mostly of Andrano and Iran Calcolithic descent, though they have elevated amounts of Caucasian and Iron Age Hellenic ancestry, as well as Mongolian ancestry, and less Arab, less South Asian, as well as less ancestry deriving from a Sub Saharan African source compared to other modern day Iranians. Thus, you can see that these results largely attest to the Turkic origins of the Azerbaijanis as they have elevated amounts of medieval Mongol ancestry. Nonetheless, they are still mostly Iranian, though they tend to have more foreign ancestry compared to other Iranians today. What this means is that on a genetic level, the Azerbaijanis of today are more admixed compared to other Iranian populations. Nonetheless, they too are still mostly genetically Iranian. That's essentially it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video, I'll be taking a look at the genetic origins of the Kurds and Azerbaijanis who reside outside of Iran. What you'll be able to see is that genetically these populations are very close to modern Iranians though they have more foreign ancestry. Thus, without further ado, I'd like to begin the final phase of this analysis. Now, here are the results for the uh, Kurds residing outside of Iran, so you can see there on average 17.5% Andrano Bronze Age, 51.9% Iran Calcolithic, 11.8% Kuraraxis, 8.6% Iron Age Hellenic, 7.0% Late Antique Arab, 1.7% Medieval Mongol and 1.4% Bronze Age South Asian. What is evident from these results is that on a genetic level, the non-Iranian Kurds are mostly of Andrano and Iran Calcolithic ancestry, though nonetheless they do have elevated amounts of Iron Age Hellenic Late Antique Arab as well as ancestry deriving from a Kuraraxi source compared to the general Iranian population. Nonetheless, they are still mostly genetically Iranian. What's also interesting to note here is that on a genetic level, the Kurds residing outside of Iran tend to have a bit less Bronze Age South Asian ancestry as well as East Asian ancestry which is very interesting and this proves that these populations are less admixed or actually they are more admixed with other West Eurasian Levantine populations compared to other modern Iranians such as the Arabs as well as the ancient Hellenic sources here and also the Kuraraxi ancestry as well. Nonetheless genetically these populations are largely mostly Iranian. Now finally the last population analyzed here are the Azerbaijanis. So you can see that the Azerbaijanis are on average 13.9% Andrano Bronze Age which ranges from 7.4 to 20.0%. After that you can see that their Iran Calcolithic ancestry ranges from 22.4 to as high as 44.6% and averages out to 33.0%. They are around 28.1% Kuraraxis derived, 5.6% Iron Age Hellenic, 4.2% Late Antique Arab, 4.4% Medieval Mongol, 1.3% Bronze Age South Asian and 9.5% Modern Caucasian. Thus with these Azerbaijanis what you can see is that they tend to harbor more Caucasian ancestry compared to modern Iranians and less step ancestry and also around the same Iron Age Hellenic and Arab ancestry which elevated amounts of medieval Mongol ancestry as well as tiny amounts of Bronze Age South Asian and modern Caucasian heritage. 
These results overall prove that the Azerbaijanis of the countries outside of Iran, particularly the Republic of Azerbaijan but also Turkey, tend to have more ancestry from a Caucasian source and less Iran calculatic source, meaning that they are a bit distinct when compared to modern day Iranians. A final thing worth mentioning here is that again you can see that their East Asian answer is at a minimal and average is out to 4.4%. So what this means is that modern day Azerbaijanis tend to have minimal ancestry deriving from an East Asian source. Also, what these results prove is that on a genetic level, the Tots and Talish are not genetically European or Nordic, but rather are mostly of indigenous West Asian descent. What this means is that the Azerbaijanis are a mixture between Caucasians and native Iranians of the plateau. To conclude, this analysis took a look at the genetic origins of the modern day Iranians in light of their Andrino ancestry and proved that the modern Iranians are mostly a two way admixture between Andrino step pastoralists and the natives of Iran or the Iran calculitic farmers. And what this analysis proved is that modern day Iranians also have minimal foreign ancestry and the largest source of their foreign ancestry actually comes from a South Asian population which itself was around half Iran Neolithic with the remainder mostly being indigenous to South Asia. Thus what this analysis proved is that on a genetic level modern day Iranians are largely contiguous to the Calcolithic with additional ancestry deriving from a Proto-Indo-Iranian or a Proto-Aryan source. And again, foreign ancestry among the Iranians of today, including the Kurds and Azerbaijanis, is at a minimal. That's essentially it for this analysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.